Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we are going to discuss 20 manual testing interview questions and answers mainly for freshers because I received so many um, comments from freshers asking me to cover some interview question and answers. I will explain what is the question, what is the answer, and then with the help of one real-time example, we will try to understand in more in depth. We will not go into so much of details because it is targeting for freshers, not for experienced candidates, right? So first question, what is manual testing? Manual testing is a process where tester execute test case manually without the use of automation tools. It involves checking the application for bugs by following a test plan, simulating real user behavior and verifying expected outcome. Example, let's say in an e-commerce application like Amazon, a tester add item to the cart, apply a discount code, places an order to confirm the end-to-end -end shopping flow works correctly. How do we understand it uh, in a more better way? Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, how do you choose appropriate testing method for software uh, testing, for software quality assurance, manual testing and automation testing? Manual testing, when we simulate real user behavior and verify the outcome. And automation testing, when we use some tools to do the job when we use some tools to execute our test cases and we find defects then it is automation testing this is to give you an idea on what is manual testing and what is automation testing second question what is a test case a test case is a set of conditions and steps created to validate a particular function or a feature in the application it includes input data execution steps and the expected result for example, let's say for a login page, enter valid credentials and click on login button. Expected result, user lands on the dashboard page or user lands on the home page. Yeah. This is uh, for your understanding. Let's say login process testing. First, <clears throat> user navigate to the uh, dashboard. You initiate the login process, enter credentials, username and password, and then see whether you are able to log in. What is the difference between bug, defect, and error? This is this is a very basic question, but it is asked to freshers generally. Let me give you one line example to um, make you understand. Error, what we call sometimes when the mistake is done by developers when they code the program. So a mistake made by developer during coding is generally known as error. Defect, a deviation from expected behavior found during testing. We call it as defect. What is a bug? A confirmed defect that is logged and tracked for fixing. Uh, if clicking proceed to checkout does not work, like proceed to checkout is a button, and if it does not work, the tester find the issue. So we will call it as a defect. We will log it in Jira and then, uh, you know, developers will pick from there and start working on it. In the interview, they can normally ask you, what do you know, what is there any difference between defect and error? then you can say, yes, there is a slight difference. Errors are generally made by developers and defects are generally raised by testers. What is SDLC and its phases? Software development lifecycle is a structured process used by developer teams or the you know um, by the teams to design, develop, test, and deliver software. It includes multiple stages like requirement gathering, design, development, testing, deployment, and maintenance. If you want to know in-depth video of SDLC, you can visit uh, my video section on the channel. I have prepared a long video explaining each and every stage in detail. This is the, uh, <clears throat> sorry, development life cycle uh, diagram, like requirement uh, gathering, collect and analyze project needs, then you design, uh, you know, high level diagram, and then development team consider the high level diagram and start coding for that uh, diagram for the architecture. Once the development is ready, then testers will start testing the software. And then once the testing is done, it will be deployed to the uh, production environment once it is deployed to the production environment then it will be kept on monitoring we will maintain how the uh, product is behaving in the real time right so update and fix issue in the software if it comes in the production this is how you can explain in the interview it will show you that you have great knowledge about sdlc concept 
this is one more example I have written. Um, in a banking app, transfer funds would be first discussed and then designed, developed, tested, and finally released to the user. What is STLC? This is the question asked to understand, to know your knowledge about STLC. Software testing life cycle is a sequence of specific activities performed during the testing process. It includes the following stages, requirement analysis, test planning, test case designing, test environment setup, test execution, test closure. This is for your understanding in depth. Let me go this side. Requirement analysis is the first stage. Uh, understanding and documenting project requirements. Second, you will develop a comprehensive test plan or test strategy. Then third, you will uh, start writing your test cases. Before that, you will identify high level test scenarios. Based on those high level scenarios, you will start writing test cases. Based on those test cases, then parallelly you will set up your test environment ready for the testing you will set up test data also and once these things are ready once the build is ready you will start executing those test cases and documenting your result yeah then in the end you will prepare test summary report or test uh, report defect reports and send it to your project manager uh, or the uh, project stakeholders yeah Example, when testing a hotel booking site, write test cases to search filters and payments during test design phase and execute them and report defects. What are the different type of testing? You can see these are the common ones which I have written. Functional testing. <clears throat> While explaining about the type of testing, you should mention what is it about. Like you can see, there are different type of testing we have. Functional testing, where we test the app features, functionality, how is it working. Then we have non-functional testing, where we check the uh, performance and security of the application. Then we have regression testing, which we check uh, <clears throat> unchanged uh, parts after a bug fix, or maybe when there are new changes coming up in the app, or when uh, to ensure that the old features are, uh, you know, it does not break the current functionality. Old features, uh, because of the addition of new features or of the removal of um, any features, old functionality is still intact. It won't break the current application, right? That time you do regression testing. Smoke testing, you do the basic app check when you get the build or you call it as health check. Uh, sanity testing focus checks after small changes. So once smoke is successful, then you continue with your other other you know detailed testing. So you call it as sanity testing. I have prepared a long video on smoke testing with examples. You can search on my channel. You will find a video and please watch it. Type of software testing. Software uh, testing ensures software quality and reliability. Then functional testing, non-functional testing, regression testing, smoke and sanity testing. Please remember that these are common type of testing. There are other system testing, system integration testing, end-to-end -end testing is also there. Yeah, uh, you can include that also in your answer if you want to show that you have, you know, good knowledge about the testing uh, types. What is regression cycle? Regression testing. Regression testing ensure that new code changes have not negatively affected the existing functionality. It is crucial after bug fixes or any enhancement. Retesting and regression testing, there is a difference. Retesting you do when there is a bug fix and it comes to you for retesting. You retest the um, existing test case. <clears throat> Right. And regression testing you do when there are new changes in the application or maybe they have removed some feature from the application when there is a new environment set up or some other things have come into place. That time you do regression testing. What is smoke testing? Smoke testing is a quick set of smoke testing is a quick set of basic tests run on a new build to ensure that the build is stable so that we can continue our testing. What is sanity testing? They may ask you. You know, as a fresher, they may ask you to know whether you know smoke testing and sanity testing. So you can say sanity testing is uh, conducted after the build is stable. After we confirm that, okay, smoke build is pass, then we do continue with this uh, sanity test to check that um, functionality is working fine. <clears throat> Then next question could be question number 10. What is difference between severity and priority? Severity measure how serious the bug is for the system. 
like how severe is the defect for the system or for the business and priority is like how soon the bug should be fixed can it wait if we don't fix it today or can it wait if it fix it like after 48 hours so it all depends on the defect right how what is what is the kind of the defect minor ui glitch let's say on some application there is a minor ui glitch so it needs quick fix despite minimal system impact second critical system feature require immediate attention due to severe impact third if there is any cosmetic issue that you find on the app in the app it can be addressed later without affecting functionality because it's a minor cosmetic issue Four, significant performance degradation impact system performance, but not urgently. I hope you got some idea on how do you explain severity and priority in your uh, interview. Next question. Do you know what is a test plan? Test plan is a detailed document outlining the testing scope. It talks about what is the objective of the project, uh, who all are the resources, what who all are the teams working on, what type of testing, what is the test environment being used, how is the test data going to be used in the project, what is the you know overall schedule of testing like when are you planning to start system integration testing, when are you planning to start uh, UAT testing, when is the end time it helps manage and control the testing processes overall. And you can also mention risk and mitigation and, you know, all uh, these type of uh, things comes under test plan. Test plan means you are planning the entire, the whole testing thing for your project. What all activities are going to be incorporated in your specific project for testing. In retail post project test plan list all the material to test like what all features we are going to test we are going to test sales refunds report devices printers and who will test each and you can also mention the out of scope items like we are not going to test the cash drawer we are not going to test the um, uh, click and collect feature right something like that this is example for the post project. Creating effective test plan for successful project outcomes activity right it outlines the specific actions and tasks to perform during testing scope it defines the boundary like what is in scope what is out of scope what is the objective who what are the resources uh, being used in the project what how is the test environment going to be set up what is the test data going to be used and the test schedule right this is about test plan very important question it can be asked to anybody what is a test scenario? Test scenario is a one line high level situation to test. It represents what to test, right? So you have business requirements, you have function requirements. First, you will design high level scenario. You will write one line like, okay, validate the login feature for so-and-so app. Verify that a registered user can change the password. What is a test case format? They may ask you, you know, these are very important questions you must understand the essence of these questions and explain it nicely in the interview what is test case format or how do you design a test case you can say uh, we are using jira or maybe we are using excel where we are writing such columns such as test case id description preconditions test steps test data expected result actual result and status and uh, maybe you can write uh, created by and created date also Test case ID, description, preconditions, test steps, test data, if you have used any test data, expected result, what is the expected result, actual result, what you get when you execute the test case and status, is it pass, fail, blocked, uh, work in progress or whatsoever. What is boundary value testing? It involves testing value at the edge of the input range. It is useful to catch common boundary related bugs. For a coupon code that works for order above 500, you can test at the boundaries 499, 500, 501. If you have doubts on how to use boundary value analysis, you can check my video. I think it's available under shorts where I have given one example. And don't forget to check the comments of that uh, shorts video because so many people have given example uh, based on their understanding and I have also replied on that. So that will help you for sure. What is positive and what is negative testing? Positive testing check system behavior with valid inputs. And when we check the system behavior with by giving invalid values, invalid input, we call it as negative testing. Positive scenario is validate invalid email ID and password. And negative is give the wrong email ID and password to check if any error message is being displayed on the screen. 
what is defect life cycle defect life cycle as we can understand from the question itself it is talking about the life cycle of a defect how a defect is uh, raised and how it is being passed through each and every stage till it gets closed so mainly we have these stages new assigned open fixed retest closed and reopen a tester finds an issue with the payment failure logs it in jira it is fixed by developers retested and closed so this is the life cycle journey like it starts from new assigned open fixed retest and closed this is very important question please remember these stages then we have what is exploratory testing this is informal type of testing basically we don't write test cases or test scripts to do exploratory testing we test the application we explore the application without the test cases based on our common sense based on our knowledge based on the you know uh, the workflow in the application we play around with the application to understand what is the application behavior what is ad hoc testing ad hoc testing is an informal and again unstructured type of testing where tests are performed randomly without any documentation i have prepared shorts video on ad hoc testing and i think monkey testing also please go and search um, or if uh, i could i will provide a link in the description of this video so that it will be helpful to you very important question what is uat user acceptance testing uat is the final testing phase done by the end users or clients to confirm that the software meets the business requirement before going live so you have all these different stages right you do functional testing you do system testing you do system integration testing you do regression testing and then it goes to uat testing where the system is being tested by actual business users once they give heads up once they give uh once they give you uh, like you know um, signal to go then it goes into production then the development team deploy the code to production and then it is being used by real users end users like me and you what is the difference between functional testing and non functional testing so functional testing ver verify system features and ui how it works what are the features working how it is behaving and non functional testing as we can understand it is used to evaluate performance and security you would have heard about some tools like jmeter for uh, performance testing jmeter for performance testing security testing burp suite and uh, owasp is also there right so these type of tools we use for non functional testing non functional testing uh, yeah cycle of appreciation and support if you like this video please leave a comment for me so that it will help me it will motivate me to create more videos for you if you want part 2 with more 20 questions please do let me know in the comments so that i can prepare one more video for you thank you so much guys thank you for watching bye